Haven't seen a lot of Melania lately. How's she doing? And how's Baron doing? Baron's a, a very good athlete. He's very tall and he's a good kid, yeah. Baron Trump is the youngest son of former President Donald Trump and former First Lady Melania Trump. Beyond the headlines and political drama, Barron's life is marked by unique experiences and a promising future that often go unnoticed. Despite being the son of a prominent political figure, Barron has navigated the challenges of growing up in the White House with a quiet resilience. Join us in uncovering what truly defines Barron Trump beyond the surface assumptions. You gonna get out on a horse there? No, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> what, you gonna jump I'll on stay a to the golf course? Mm. Horse? No. Miracle baby. Baron Trump, the youngest child of Melania and Donald Trump, is often referred to as a miracle baby due to the circumstances of his birth. Melania was 35 years old when she became pregnant with Baron, and her pregnancy was considered high risk. Throughout her pregnancy, Melania encountered health challenges, including complications that heightened concerns about Baron's well-being. Melania experienced an issue with her placenta, known as placenta previa, a condition where the placenta covers the cervix. This posed serious risks for both Melania and the baby. To ensure Baron's safety, Melania underwent strict bed rest and carefully monitored medical care. Despite these challenges, Baron Trump defied the odds and was born healthy on March 20, 2006. Melania and Donald Trump have openly expressed their gratitude for Baron's health and well-being, emphasizing the significance of his birth in their lives. Name Inspiration Before Barron's birth, his father, Donald Trump, had a special name in mind that he had always liked but never used for his other sons. This name was Barron. Initially, Melania Trump, Barron's mother, was supportive of this choice. However, there was a surprising twist just before the final decision. Donald Trump, in a moment of hesitation, considered changing his mind about the name Barron. He shared this uncertainty during an appearance on The Oprah Winfrey Show. Despite his doubts, Melania had already grown fond of the name. She revealed to Donald, You can't take it away. I've been calling him Baron while he's been in my stomach. The name Baron thus became a significant part of their son's identity. Melania's attachment to the name prevailed, and it was ultimately chosen for their youngest child. This detail adds a personal touch to Baron's name highlighting the dynamics of decision-making within the Trump family. The name Barron carries a sense of uniqueness and tradition. It reflects Donald Trump's admiration for a name he had cherished for a long time, but had never used until then. Melania's affectionate connection to the name further solidified its significance, showcasing a blend of parental intuition and emotional attachment in the naming process. Unique Family Position Born on March 20, 2006, Barron stands out among his older siblings due to a significant age gap. His eldest half-sibling, Donald Trump Jr., is 29 years older than him, making Barron the youngest by far. This age difference places him in a distinct role within the family dynamic. Growing up, Barron essentially experienced life as an only child during his early years, given the separation from his older siblings who lived apart from Melania. This upbringing shaped his childhood significantly, providing him with individual attention and a different familial environment compared to his older siblings. Barron's birth marked a historical moment as he became the first presidential son to reside in the White House in several decades, following a string of presidencies with only daughters. This unique position added a layer of public interest and scrutiny to Barron's life, even before his father's presidency. Despite being the youngest, Barron enjoys a close bond with his nieces and nephews, who are closer to him in age than his siblings. His family's growth has brought him into a bustling household with ten grandchildren from his father. This extended family network provides Barron with a diverse range of familial relationships and experiences. Schooling Journey He began at Columbia Grammar and Preparatory School in New York City, where he received a strong academic foundation. When his father assumed the presidency in 2017, Barron moved to St. Andrew's Episcopal School in Potomac, Maryland, attracted by its diverse community and academic excellence. Melania Trump expressed excitement about this new chapter, 
emphasizing the school's commitment to exceptional teaching. At St. Andrews, Barron experienced a shift in his educational environment, paying approximately $40,000 in annual tuition. This change marked a departure from the schools traditionally chosen by previous presidential families. After the presidency, Barron moved to the Oxbridge Academy in Palm Beach, Florida, where he is set to graduate in 2024. During his schooling journey, Barron also engaged in unique experiences. For example, during his final year at Columbia Grammar, he organized a field trip to the White House for his entire fifth grade class. This adventure included touring Washington, D.C. and meeting President Donald Trump in the iconic residence. Field trip to White House. During his final year at Columbia Grammar and Preparatory School, Baron Trump organized a special field trip for his entire fifth grade class to visit the White House. This unique adventure involved approximately 80 of Baron's classmates, along with teachers and Secret Service agents, embarking on a journey to Washington, D.C. The group stayed overnight at a hotel in the capital city before their anticipated visit to the White House the next day. Upon arrival at the White House, Barron's father, President Donald Trump, warmly welcomed the group. The students had the rare opportunity to tour the iconic residence, where they explored the historic rooms and learned about the rich history of the presidential home. The visit was a highlight of their trip, offering first-hand insights into the life of a first family. Aside from the White House tour, the students also enjoyed exploring Washington, D.C., visiting famous landmarks such as the Lincoln Memorial, Washington Monument, and Capitol Building. The entire experience was filled with excitement and educational value, providing the young students with a memorable and enriching trip. Trilingualism. Barron is known to speak English, Slovenian, and French with ease. Barron's journey into trilingualism began at a young age. His mother, Melania Trump, is Slovenian, so Barron learned Slovenian from her. By the time Barron was just three years old, he could speak both Slovenian and English confidently. Not stopping there, Barron also started learning French. By the age of five, he was already showing great progress in French, adding another language to his repertoire. This is quite remarkable for someone so young. Barron's multilingual abilities were a source of pride for his mother, Melania. She often shared stories of his linguistic talents with the media. In interviews, Melania expressed her joy and admiration for Barron's fluency in multiple languages at such a tender age. Being trilingual opens up many doors for Barron. It allows him to communicate with people from different countries and cultures effortlessly. Barron's ability to speak multiple languages reflects not only his intelligence, but also the rich, multicultural environment he is exposed to. Attacks Online During his father's presidency, Baron Trump faced hurtful attacks and criticism online, despite his young age. People on the internet said mean things about him. Former first daughter Chelsea Clinton defended Baron. She asked people to be kind and leave him alone. Chelsea wanted Baron to have a normal childhood without harsh words. Others joined in, supporting Baron. Jenna Bush Hager, another former first daughter, spoke out against the attacks. She said it wasn't fair for Baron to face criticism for something he didn't choose. Barron's mom, Melania Trump, also spoke about the attacks. She said it was hard for Barron to see mean things written about him. Melania tried to shield Barron from the negative comments. She wanted him to have a happy childhood. The attacks affected Barron, even though he was young. It was a tough time for him, but his family stood by him and defended him. They wanted him to grow up without being bullied. Despite the challenges, Barron continued to pursue his interests and studies, supported by his family's love and protection. Fashion Sense Known for his preference for formal atir, Baron often enjoys dressing up and isn't shy about wearing a tie, much like his father, Donald Trump. Melania Trump, his mother, has noted that Baron appreciates looking sharp and takes pride in his appearance. As Baron has grown, his interest in fashion has evolved. At the age of 14, he exhibited a strong passion for clothing. Melania, known for her fashion sense, has played a role in nurturing Barron's sartorial inclinations. Barron's skincare routine is evidence of his growing interest in personal grooming. Melania introduced him to high-quality skincare products, including a caviar complex moisturizer, 
which she personally applies to him. This moisturizer with a price tag of up to $150 highlights Baron's exposure to luxurious grooming. His fashion choices extend to his footwear, particularly his love for sneakers. Baron has been seen sporting stylish New Balance kicks on various occasions. In 2017, he paired custom New Balance trainers with his prep school uniform, showcasing his evolving taste in footwear. Baron's attention to detail is evident even in his choice of sneakers. He has been photographed in pale Swede New Balance sneakers with a distinctive reflective logo, demonstrating a blend of style and comfort in his footwear selection. Hands-on parenting for Melania. Trump, the former first lady, this meant personally preparing her son Baron's school lunches every day. She believed in the importance of being there for him, guiding him through his formative years without the help of a nanny. Melania's commitment to hands-on parenting extended beyond meals. She was often seen personally picking up Baron from school, reinforcing her role as a devoted and involved mother. This routine emphasized her dedication to being an integral part of her son's upbringing. In a 2015 interview with People magazine, Melania emphasized her refusal to hire a nanny, highlighting the significance of being a parental figure who offers guidance and support during the crucial early years of childhood. Despite her busy schedule, Melania made it a priority to be actively involved in Baron's daily life, ensuring that he felt loved and cared for. Melania's hands-on approach to parenting reflects the importance of quality time and personal investment in a child's upbringing. By preparing Baron's lunches and personally attending to his daily needs, she demonstrated a deep commitment to fostering a strong parent-child bond. This level of involvement not only provided Baron with stability and security, but also allowed Melanie to actively shape his growth and development. Athletic Interests Baron Trump has shown a keen interest in sports, particularly soccer. He has been spotted wearing an Arsenal Football Club shirt, indicating his enthusiasm for the sport. Baron doesn't just like soccer, he actively participates in it. He joined the DC United Under-12 team and the Development Academy, showing his commitment at a young age. In 2017, when the DC United Major League Soccer team visited the White House, they gave Barron a personalized signed black and red soccer ball, strengthening his bond with the sport. One notable aspect of Barron's athletic journey is his height. He is a few inches taller than his father, who stands at an impressive 6'3". This height advantage has led to playful speculations about Barron's potential in other sports like basketball. Despite his height, Barron remains dedicated to soccer and seems content with his role in the sport. His athletic abilities have not gone unnoticed by his family. His mother, Melania Trump, praised him as a great athlete, emphasizing that he displayed these qualities from a young age. Even his father, Donald Trump, acknowledged Barron's natural athletic talent, stating that he was at an age where he was just beginning to learn and develop his skills. Close bond with father. Despite the demands of his father's political career, Donald made time to engage in activities with Barron, fostering a special connection between them. They often bonded over their shared love for golf, spending weekends playing together at Trump-owned golf courses. Melania Trump, Barron's mother, highlighted these father-son outings as cherished moments for the family. Donald Trump's affection for Barron was evident during their golf outings, where he patiently taught Barron the nuances of the game. Melania recalled how Donald encouraged Barron's interest in golf from a young age, describing their golf trips as a favorite father-son activity. Donald's guidance and support fueled Barron's passion for the sport. Beyond golf, Donald Trump also shared business insights with Barron, nurturing his curiosity about the business world. Melania mentioned that Barron aspired to follow in his father's footsteps as both a businessman and a professional golfer. Donald recognized Barron's potential, acknowledging his son's natural talent and determination. Their bond extended to everyday moments, with Donald showing pride in Barron's achievements and interests. Melania emphasized Donald's role in supporting Barron's growth and development. Despite the pressures of the presidency, Donald made efforts to be present in Barron's life, attending his school events and celebrating milestones together. Public Life Transition Baron Trump's transition into the public eye was marked by significant changes when his father, Donald Trump, 
assumed the presidency in 2017. Moving from their New York City residence in Trump Tower to the White House in Washington, D.C., Barron faced a new chapter in his young life. At the age of 11, he became the first son of a U.S. president to reside in the White House since John F. Kennedy Jr., decades earlier. The transition meant leaving behind the familiarity of Trump Tower, where Barron had his own floor in a lavish penthouse with theme and decor reflecting his interests in planes and helicopters. In contrast, life in the White House offered historical significance, but also adjustments. Barron's living quarters were situated on the third floor, with his mother, Melania, focusing on creating a comfortable and private space for him. Despite the grandeur of the White House, Melania emphasized maintaining Barron's routine and privacy. She was actively involved in his day-to-day -day activities, personally preparing his meals and ensuring he had time for his studies and hobbies. The First Lady aimed to shield Barron from excessive public exposure, acknowledging the changes in his childhood due to their new residence. As Barron settled into his role as the first son, he adapted to the heightened scrutiny and expectations that accompanied his father's presidency. Melania's commitment to Barron's well-being included arranging for him to attend St. Andrew's Episcopal School in Maryland, where he continued his education away from the White House's spotlight. Historical Significance Barron Trump holds historical significance as the youngest son of a U.S. president in decades. He became the first presidential son to live in the White House since John F. Kennedy during the 1960s. This marks a shift in presidential lineage, as many recent presidents had daughters, not sons. Barron's presence at the White House symbolizes a return to a tradition of presidential sons living in the, the historic residence. His role is part of a broader historical narrative in American politics, reflecting the diversity of family dynamics in the highest office. Before Barron, the U.S. saw a series of presidencies with only daughters starting in 1963. Barron's arrival changes this pattern, bringing attention to the evolving nature of presidential families. His unique position represents a shift in generational representation within the presidential household. This shift is notable because it breaks a long-standing pattern of daughters in the White House, showcasing a broader range of family experiences in American leadership. Influence of Family Legacy From an early age, Barron has been exposed to the Trump Organization's operations and the intricate dynamics of high-profile public life. In family discussions, Barron is likely privy to conversations about business strategies and leadership decisions. Donald Trump's achievements in real estate, entertainment, and now politics serve as a backdrop against which Barron's own aspirations may be measured. He has the unique opportunity to learn from his father's experiences and mistakes, potentially influencing his own future endeavors. Moreover, Barron's exposure to the political world is extensive. As part of a family deeply involved in national affairs, Barron witnessed firsthand the impact of public service and governance. He attends significant events and interacts with influential figures, absorbing insights into diplomacy, policy, and the media. In terms of personal development, Barron is encouraged to uphold the family's values of determination and resilience. The Trump legacy emphasizes hard work and ambition, qualities that may resonate with Barron as he navigates his educational and extracurricular pursuits. The family's legacy also extends to Barron's interests in sports and fashion. Donald Trump's fondness for golf and business attire may have influenced Barron's own passion for these areas. Melania Trump's sense of style and attention to detail likely play a role in shaping Barron's aesthetic preferences. Promising Future Barron Trump's promising future is shaped by a range of interests and opportunities that hint at diverse paths ahead. With a keen passion for sports, particularly soccer, Barron's athletic journey is unfolding. He has actively participated in teams like DC United Under-12 and Arlington Soccer Associations Under-14, showcasing his commitment to the sport. Notably, during a visit by DC United to the White House, Barron received a personalized signed soccer ball, highlighting his connection to the sports world. Beyond sports, Barron's multilingual abilities set him apart fluent in English and Slovenian from a young age, with ongoing French language studies, 
His linguistic prowess opens doors to international experiences and communication. In education, Barron has attended prestigious schools like St. Andrew's Episcopal School and Oxbridge Academy, emphasizing a commitment to academic excellence. He is set to graduate in 2024, reflecting his dedicated academic journey. Barron's family background, marked by a successful business legacy, hints at potential business ventures in his future. With mentorship from his father, Donald Trump, a prominent figure in the business world, Barron might explore opportunities in entrepreneurship or management, leveraging his family's expertise and connections. Moreover, Barron's interest in fashion and grooming suggests potential avenues in the fashion industry. Influenced by his mother Melania's sense of style, Barron has developed a keen eye for fashion, which could translate into endeavors related to design or brand management. Whether in sports, academics, business, or fashion, Baron Trump's journey promises to be shaped by his inherent talents and the foundations laid during his formative years in the public eye. Thanks for watching another episode. While you are still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more quality content.